Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. Marketing master Jim Ackerman here with the latest episode of Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where I'm gonna show you an ad specimen and you're gonna vote on whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly, and I'll then tell you what I think. But the truth of the matter is, I'm probably gonna reveal my cards on this one a little bit early because today I'm gonna to really lay it on the line and show you one of my own ads. One of my own ads for one of my own products, okay? Here's the ad, it's found in In Store Magazine, which is a magazine for jewelers. And it's about an event that I am uh, putting on called Act the Deck, the ultimate jewelry sales and marketing boot camp. It's called Act the Deck because I am Jim Ackerman, or Ack, and my co-presenter in it is Shane Decker, or Deck. And he's very well known as the top sales trainer in the jewelry industry, and I'm well known as the top sale, uh, marketing coach in the jewelry industry. So, hence, playing on our notoriety with the industry, act the deck, and then the subhead, the ultimate jewelry sales and marketing boot camp. But take a look at the snipe headline at the very top. It says, the best money I have ever spent on my business, signed Jack Miller, Jack Miller jewelry designer right there at the top. It's a testimonial headline, okay? And then look at that, body copy. I mean, there's scads of it on there, is there not? Look at that, there's a whole column reserved for testimonials. Then there's three columns of body copy about the event and an offer at the end. Take a good hard look at this ad and you tell me whether you think it's effective or not. Will it get people to, number one, read the ad, and number two, get them to sign up for the event? Check it out. Give me your vote. Is it good, bad, or ugly from a marketing perspective? As soon as you've made your determination, you can start the video again and hear my self-critique. All right, the ad is in in-store magazine, which is one of the top two magazines in the jewelry industry. And uh, so it's, uh, and it's there because in-store magazine has actually sponsored our event. So there's some third party credibility there that we're bringing into play. I already mentioned the fact that Shane and I are both well known in the jewelry industry. So that helps lend additional credibility, but not enough. We led with a headline that was in fact a testimonial from one of our attendees from last year's event. So this is a follow-up ad, and by the way, the layout of the ad is very similar to last year's layout as well. So if you saw last year's ad, you might recognize this. We weren't satisfied with that. Down the uh, left-hand side of the ad, we put a series of testimonials from other attendees, and they're very specific in their nature, attesting to the quality of the event and what they got out of it. And then, of course, there's a lot of body copy there that talks about other elements of the event. Now, we're asking people to, to part with a substantial amount of money with this ad, $1,497 to be exact, and so, uh, and, and that's, 40% off the regular price of $2,500. We don't think that there is enough information, even with all this copy, to get somebody to make that decision on the spot. So the offer is in the form of, the, of talking about the 40% off and a, a deadline for when that will expire, and we're trying to drive the prospect to our website where they can get more details about the event and also to register. The layout of the ad takes advantage of several profit-proven layout principles. Number one, the columns are skinny, which means you don't have long lines of copy to read. They're very short lines. They're set ragged right. The subheadings, the bullet points, all perform the function of pulling people's eyes through the ad from one point to another until they get to the end where they can read the offer. The offer is quite compelling and again, we're only trying to get them to go to the website for more information and the website is designed to get them to actually uh, register for the event. This is a good ad, not because I wrote it, 
but because it follows strong, profit-proven principles, strategies, and tactics of both copy and design that tend to increase readership and response to the ad. Nevertheless, I'd love to hear what you think of it. I mean, am I right or am I wrong? Is it in fact good, bad, or ugly from your point of view and why? Please comment below, get the feedback of your uh, friends who are in business as well and see what they think, how their impression of the ad compares with yours and uh, why you think what you think. And like I say, put it in the comments below and have them put it in the comments below as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because here at Biz Kaboom and Good, Bad and Ugly Ads, our quest is the same as yours helping you develop the skills, the habits, the uh, know-how, and the do-how to be able to get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible.